Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to use the Smart FTP client to change the files on your MG 450 HD media player. Before this point, you will have had to successfully set up your box as per the manual. This includes installing the hard drive, connecting it to a PC, formatting it with an NTFS partition. You will also be required to connect it to your local network, either via wired or wireless connection. I would suggest for the purposes of this uh, setup that you provide a static IP. This will make it easier to contact your hard drive box on your network. You will also be required to set up, configure and switch on the FTP server from within the setup menu of the media player. In order to make sure that you can successfully talk to your media player from your PC, you will need to make sure that you can communicate. You can do this by pinging the IP address that you specified. My box is at 192.168.1.10. As you can see, I get a reply. So I am able to contact my box. The next thing will be to launch the Smart FTP client. Now, this is the main working area. At the moment, we're not connected to the box, so there's nothing here. This lower window is the transfer queue or global queue. This is basically uh, all the jobs that we set up that will be processed. We'll come back to this later. So for now, I need to put in the IP address of my box, which is 192.168.1.10 or whatever IP address that you've happened to set. Your login will be obviously the user ID that you specified within the FTP settings. Mine is MG450 and the password or PIN number depending on what you set. So I'll just put mine in there. And the port number I've left at the default which is 21. So now if I click connect, okay, we now uh, see this box comes up and you can see obviously it's all going down here and this will basically show you the status and you can see obviously from this that we have, uh, it makes the connection and everything. Okay, up here you can see obviously this is my media box and this is the root of the hard drive and you can see some directories I have here. Okay, now one thing that's important to remember is you can only have one FTP connection to the media box at any one time. Now Smart FTP and many other FTP clients like it will try to make multiple connections the media box will refuse to accept these connections so basically any job that we add at the moment will go into the global queue and the global queue which is currently set into start mode will attempt to access the box but it will fail but that's okay we can live with that for now so basically I can now add a new directory for the purposes of this demo and I will call uh, sorry I will uh, new folder and I'll call it demo so you can see that I've got there and I can double click on that and see inside. Now to add jobs I can then go uh, upload and I can say add a file and from within my demo data that I've created I've created a folder with two files in and a single file on its own. So from my upload if I click add folder I can then go into demo data and select data folder and I can also say add file and select the single file. Now basically by choosing add folder I have selected the entire folder and everything that's in it as a job to be carried out by the global queue and I've chosen this single file as a single job. So if I click OK you will see that these are all added to the global queue. Now you'll see a little snooze icon here, that means that basically it was unable to connect to the MG450. The reason for this is because I still have the browse window open, which is using the uh, single FTP connection that the MG450 can sustain. The global queue will of course retry automatically at the time specified in here. I've now finished adding the jobs that I want to do. So basically they're listed down here. So if I now close my window, the global queue is now able to connect. So basically we will just need to wait for a few seconds while this uh, times out. 
And while that we're waiting for that, I will just point out this section here called Workers 1 means how many uh, multiple connections you want the global queue to perform. Now because obviously the MG450 can only accept one connection at a time, we only need one worker. Now the first thing you will notice is that now that the job has started is the fact that the listed directory is now turned to two files. This is because the global queue has read the directory and now listed the files as separate jobs and you can see that the first job has started and now finished and now the second job has started and obviously you can see from in here the source and the designated destination of those files so you can see that it's going to my IP address for the MG450 in my demo data folder and then the next job which was the single file is listed as the demo uh, in the demo Now while we just wait for that job to finish, then obviously we will be able to log back in and you'll be able to see that the files are in place. Okay, you can now see that the global queue has finished, there's no further jobs to actually upload. And I'll just give you a little explanation of these two buttons as well. You can also stop the queue immediately by clicking stop and if you click pause it will finish the last file that you were uploading and then stop the queue. The good thing about the queue is is that if you do not have time to upload all the files you can stop the queue, close Smart FTP and then the next time you reopen it all the jobs that were not finished will be waiting in the queue and then you can obviously hit start and then the queue will start up again. So in order to just show you that the files have gone in I can now make a, a new connection to my box Okay, there we go. And you can see inside the uh, inside there is the uh, going to the demo. And you can now see there is the single file that I uploaded, and then also there is this new folder called data folder, which was the folder we selected. And if we go into that, you can then see the two files that were listed within uh, within that folder. So that job's all been processed. And then obviously if you really want to get rid of all that data you can just right click on obviously a single file if you so wish and delete it and that will be removed and if you want to delete an entire directory you can of course just obviously right click on that and also delete it and rename etc and that's really all there is to it um, it's quite simple and straightforward um, and as long as you remember that you can only make one connection on an FTP at a time uh, you should have no problems using the FTP server within the MG450. I hope you've uh, found this tutorial helpful and um, hopefully you'll be having a, a good time with your product. And that ends the tutorial. Thanks.